friend, I'm Pastor Danny Davis. You know, uh, if you could go back in my life, uh, not all that many years ago, I was pastoring a little storefront church. I was so poor, the poor preachers called me poor. And one night at the altar, God began to talk to me. And the Lord said, Danny Davis, what is your heart's desire? And I said, God, that I, that I could be on television all over the world. I want to reach millions of people with the gospel. And God spoke to me. He spoke to me just as clear as you hear my voice right now. And the Lord said, I'm going to raise you up and give you a multi-million dollar television ministry. But there were things God spoke to my heart as I stayed at that altar. And one of the things God told me I had to do if he was going to bless me with the finances I need to reach millions of people with the gospel is I had to see his finances and not mine. The Lord began to talk to me about seed time and harvest. That's what I want to take just a couple of minutes to do with you today is talk to you about sowing seeds and how seeds go out in the spirit and they produce harvests in your life. The Lord told me at the altar all those years ago when I was a poor preacher in a storefront church, God told me not to be afraid to sow seeds and to prove him because he was gonna take my seeds and turn them into a million dollar harvest that I could see souls won through. Well, uh, there is a season to sow and a season to reap. The Bible says to everything there's a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. Most people I find that get in a financial bind and can't get out of a financial bind, they allow fear to get a hold of their heart and they're, they're afraid to release money because they're, they're just afraid they're gonna go broke. And let me tell you something, you've got to move beyond fear and understand the power of a seed. There's power in a seed when it's sown in the gospel. You know, I remember not too many years ago, I was on television and I was talking about this and a little lady was watching me that was so broke, she had $27 left in the world. That's all she had, $27. Now, you can't do much with $27. She called our call center and uh, she uh, was weeping on the phone as she talked to one of the prayer counselors. She said, I want to sow a seed. I'm watching Danny Davis on television. I want to give an offering. And, and, and she kept crying and sobbing. They said, well, lady, what do you want to give? And she said, I want to give everything I've got. And they said, well, what does that mean? She said, I only have $27. I want to sow it. She was crying and, and, and distressed and, and filled with trouble in her life. And she gave God a seed of $27. She sowed a seed. Well, it wasn't too long after that, maybe a month or six weeks, that she called back to the call center. This time, she was so excited, she was laughing and hilariously carrying on. And it, the prayer counselor had to calm her down before they could find out what she wanted. She was calling to give a praise report. Someone had showed up at her front door. She had won a sweepstakes and received over a million dollars. Well, it was one of the most exciting testimonies we had that year because a little lady that gave her last received over a million dollar miracle. She won a sweepstakes. You say, well, Danny Davis, I think that would have happened anyway. I don't because I believe seeds go out in the spirit and cause God to produce a harvest in your life. You can't be afraid to sow if you want to reap a miracle. I want to share a quick scripture with you. It's found in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 9 through 10. It says, Honor God with all your substance and with the first fruits of your increase. The Bible says, So shall your barns be filled with plenty and your wine presses shall burst forth with new wine. Well, as eloquent as that sounds, all God is saying is if you take your first fruits and put them in the gospel, God said, I'll cause tremendous blessing, prosperity, and blessing and increase to come upon your life. Listen, God controls wealth. If I can get you to believe that, then, then you'll receive a miracle in your life this year. Now, let me give you three keys if you want to prosper, to prospering, even though things may have been very, very bad and very awful in your life. First of all, believe that God controls wealth. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 8 and 18, it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. God controls wealth. That's key number one. Key number two is that seeds produce harvests. If you're unwilling to sow a seed, then you're never gonna reap a harvest. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, the sluggard or lazy man will not sow by reason of the cold. You'll say, oh, it's too cold to go out there right now and plant a seed. And the Bible says, therefore, when harvest comes, he shall go hungry. You can't look at your circumstances. You've gotta be willing to sow a seed in the middle of your distress. Uh, seeds produce harvest. And lastly, I wanna say this to you. If a seed's not moving you, it's probably not moving God either. You say, what do you mean by that? If you want to give God your leftovers, let me tell you, leftovers aren't for God. 
Uh, when I was growing up, a little boy, we used to have a collie dog, and my dad would throw the dog the bone after we ate from the table. God's not interested in your leftovers. God wants you to sow a seed that moves you. If that seed's not moving you, it's not gonna move God either. You have to be willing to sow in the middle of your distress and believe that God controls wealth. Well, there's just a simple little word of wisdom concerning seed faith I wanted to give you today. I'm Pastor Danny Davis, and I hope this has helped you.